Hi everyone, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and I wanted to start out this video by saying yes, I absolutely do personal readings. All you have to do is go to my website at angelsouls444.com That's Angel Souls with an S, 444.com and you'll go to the services page, you'll see that there are a few price points for you to choose from. Go ahead and follow the instructions and we'll get you in line for a reading. Take care. Hi there Aquarius, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and this is your November 2014 Angel Oracle card reading and I am using the Healing with the Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Some of you have forced an issue. That's coming up immediately. And a lot of you are carrying and harboring resentment or anger. And this is something that's probably already become apparent to you in October. Uh, and in November, we're coming into this sort of uh, after the fact kind of moment where now you're facing a whole new reality and sort of going back over your decisions and going, why did I do that? What was I supposed to learn from that? Um, this, is, this doesn't feel like you guys are going to be... Um, regretting everything we're not saying that but you're gonna be questioning was that the right thing for me to do should I have done something different okay so what the reason why we're saying that is November kind of breaks up in this new energy and it gives you they're saying a definitive answer about how you're gonna move forward okay focus has been a big card that's been coming up for a lot of signs so it might be you getting your future into focus, which can be a huge relief if you've been kind of in the dark and not really knowing which way to go. Okay, so even though things didn't turn out maybe as you had expected, I think what you're going to find in November, like I said, you're going to get focus on how to move forward. And that in and of itself is a miracle. They're also saying that you need to learn how to love and accept the miracles that already are. If you're a parent and you have children, those children are, children are miracles. If you are married, if, even if you don't get along with your spouse, it's a miracle that you found each other, okay? Because you came in to teach each other something and you found each other and you did it, all right? That's a miracle. Start having gratitude and appreciation, I've been saying this to a lot of people too, to open up the gate so that more miracles can come in. But some of you out there are really just straight up blocked and you're trapped up here and I you know I'm recording these in October October hasn't completely played out so I'm and again it's a big theme for November for a lot of signs they're all trapped up in their intellect um, and worrying about things and trying to plan and trying to get solutions for things and what that does is that takes you out of gratitude it makes you miss the good things that are already happening because you're too worried about what's coming next and then that blocks you off from experiencing more miracles. They're still occurring with or without you, <laughs> but you're missing them, okay? So you gotta get out of your head. Let's get the next card going. Let's get a story going here, let's see. Self-acceptance. So whatever comes up for you in October, it seems like November is the time where you're having to practice a little bit of self-forgiveness somewhere along the line you realize that um, you made an error in judgment or you were impulsive or compulsive either way and this is saying it's okay you're human all right you did the best that you could in the moment with the knowledge that you had and nobody could possibly ask more of you all right so this is not a time you know we're, we're kind of saying okay just you know chill out try to get out of your head a little bit don't overthink things right so that you can open up to more miracles and good things coming into your life and accept yourself as you are and don't see yourself as somebody who's flawed who needs to be fixed if you know if you've learned your lesson that's a beautiful thing okay um, <laughs> even if you're still in a space in November where you're like I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, but you're still feeling sick about it, it's okay. If you're not ready to make amends with somebody, if you're not ready to make things right, just accept where you are, okay? And, and let it ride, <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, but for some of you, there's, there's a lot of just, they're saying, okay, and they're telling me to say, self-hatred. 
a lot of self-hatred and for some of you I mean it's really instilling this guilt in you again you're human don't beat yourself up all right you always have the opportunity to do things different differently going forward all right dreams they're saying this means dreams not like sleeping but your dreams like your heart's desires okay in your particular situation it doesn't have anything to do with this woman sleeping per se <laughs> not not in the literal sense and they're saying you've basically snoozed through your dreams okay so they're using this more as a metaphor um, because you acted impulsively you didn't wait until you had all the facts before you reacted whatever that is for you guys all right and right now instead of taking action you are now in November going to be kind of in this like a slight holding pattern you do have the power to break out of it and bring more miracles into your life but I think going into November this feels like kind of the beginning you it's it's head in the sand kind of thing okay so in your inner world yeah, and this will vary from person to person out there but sort of in your inner world you 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 know what you did and you are beating yourself up and you feel guilty but also you're kind of not facing it and your dreams are not being accomplished you're holding yourself back okay so why are they telling you this what a bummer of a reading right no not at all they're telling you this so that you have a chance to be aware to um, to change that energy as you go into the month and go in with your eyes wide open all right and ready to do the work mm -hmm. next card focus this keeps coming up for a lot of people too if you do the work I think by the end of the month you will have the clarity that you need you will have awakened to your situation like truly and perhaps I'm sorry this is a split message this month it's kind of weird on one hand I feel like there are some people who are just again it's the head in the sand they're not gonna face reality they're just gonna keep on the way that they have fine that's okay accept it it's where you are everything happens in divine timing so there's that group of people then there's another group of people who you know just again are just so stuck up in their in their brain <laughs> over analyzing things and um, swirling in guilt and blocking out miracles and things from their life because they're over over worrying about things um, hold on one second yeah they're saying that things come into like sharp focus but the reason why I paused there I wanted to make sure I got that clearly because it's sort of like you come in sleeping <laughs> kind of and then for you guys it's like poof, it's something occurs it could just be something simple like somebody says a word and it snaps you into a realization or you know it could go it, I don't know I mean there could be a lot of things that really get you to open your eyes so what's the message here don't have the need for there to be a big thing to open your eyes all right start doing the healing and the self-study now that way when you go I don't know when you're listening to this but I'm recording it like I said in October um, so when you go into November you're kind of a little more set you're more aware <laughs> you're ready to glide through it instead of having to hit obstacle after obstacle all right let this be a beautiful smoothing out month as opposed to a carryover from October where you're still stumbling through and still trying to learn your lessons okay I hope that made sense it was a very convoluted message but there it is I give it to you like I get it <laughs> uh, have a good month and of course I'm sending you my love take care